What is going on guys? It's King Tits Pro and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial I'll be you know clarifying a few stuff that uh, a lot of you guys have been um, uh, commenting in the comment section uh, and I want to really clarify a lot of stuff and a lot of mistakes I have previously made in my Photoshop tutorials and I want to make this as basic and simple as possible for you guys that are sort of new to Photoshop and you know, these are the seven most common, uh, most frequent uh, things that people that I see in the comments when I make a, a Photoshop tutorial. And uh, I'm sorry that I've, you know, I really went fast in my Photoshop tutorials for beginners. I just really want you guys to, to learn and, you know, how to use Photoshop because that's what I'm, that's what I like to do. I like to help people know how to use something uh, just as much as I would. So here's an image of these two, uh, I guess a couple uh, or whatever. I don't know. They're just enjoying the beach. And uh, the first is the move tool. Oh, and before I get started, if you could take a, you know, a millisecond of your day to leave a like, that will be awesome. And that just shows me that you guys want more of these videos. And my schedule for uh, my for my videos is Monday and Friday. And uh, if you guys want a specific time frame because I upload in the mornings, then please tell me in the comment section below. But anyway, out of that, um, yeah, so the most common is the move tool. So <laughs> let me go ahead and zoom out. So when you import an image, of course, I'm not going to show you. Well, I guess I can show you the shortcut. But um, so, okay. So the first one is the move tool. So when you import an image, so you go over to file and you go to open uh, or command O or control uh Oh, if you're on a PC, so every time I say command, it's control on a PC. So just keep that in mind. So you import the image and you want to go ahead and move it. Well, this is probably one of the most common uh, mistakes that people do is they would just click and drag it and they want to move it. It's going to say uh, Photoshop, it's going to bring up a window and it's going to say could not use the move tool because the layer is locked. Now, if you click OK and you see over in that, you know, onto the right side, you're going to see a lock icon and that's on the, the layer that's selected. It says background. That means that you cannot move your image until it is unlocked. So pretty much when you import the image into Photoshop, Photoshop is telling you, no, before you, you know, you can move anything, you have to unlock it so you can allow access in other words. Okay. So in order to unlock it, all you have to do is either double click the layer itself, make sure it's in a blank space. If you double click the background, the where it says background, the text, it's going to allow you to rename it. And if you double click the icon, that's going to do something else as well. So if I do that, it's uh, going to bring up this. That's if you have like a clipping mask or something like that. Um, but if you have it like this, that works too. But it's you can take the safer route just by clicking right here on an empty area. So it brings up a new window and it says new layer. Name, blah, blah, blah. You can give it a name. I'm going to name it Beach uh, if I can type correctly. And then color, you could just... I don't know, you could choose whatever color you want. This is, I think, for Macs only. I'm not sure. I think this is for Windows as well. I just haven't used Photoshop in forever on Windows. So, mode, just keep everything the same and click OK. And that will unlock the layer. So, now you can move it and do whatever you want with it. You could transform the image. Uh, but I'm going to tell you got that later on, okay? I'm kind of going in order from the most frequent uh, mistakes, I guess to the least all right um, so now you can move the image so another way of doing it is by uh, actually that is actually the only way you can move it but you can make a copy of the background and to do that all you have to do is go over to um, you could click and drag the layer so your layer is selected click and drag down right here and it kind of looks like a sticky note so you, you drag it on there and you let go and that's going to make a background copy. So that pretty much makes a copy. So now there's another layer on top of that which will allow you to move it. So it literally made a copy. Okay, so that's all it did. You could also just delete the background if you don't want that anymore. Press delete and kaboom, it <laughs> boom, it gives you the same result. So that is a, another method. Um, again, another method is using the shortcuts, but I'm going to get that out of the way earlier so now once you have uh, you can also rename it just by double clicking on your text right here and I'm gonna name it beach 
cool. So here it is, Beach. They're having a great time. And if you want to lock the layer again, all you have to do is click this lock icon, and now you don't have to mess with the image. So if you're working on top of the image or whatever, you're not going to be messing with it. So that is very good. Cool. <laughs> so if you want to unlock it, you can simply click this right here, or you can just click on the uh, layer there, or actually on here. All right, so now another thing is to transform it. Now, I know I use shortcuts a lot in Photoshop. That's because I use Photoshop a lot more than probably you do. Um, shortcuts are not as very, you know, they're not hard to use. You just have to get used to it. And the more you use Photoshop, the more shortcuts you will know. And that will allow you to move faster and use Photoshop much quicker than normal. But if you guys don't like to use the shortcuts or just really want to know how to do it without the shortcuts, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that right now. So if you want to go ahead and transform the image or make it smaller, make it bigger, whatever you want to do, all you're going to do is first you could, the first method, of course, is not using the shortcut. So you would go over to the menu. Again, if you're on a Mac, this is going to be exactly the same. Uh, if you're on a Windows computer or on a PC, it's going to be a little bit different, but the layout should be the same. So go over to edit and make sure your layer is selected. So if you have a lot of layers, um, so say I have like, I don't know, three layers and I have one selected and you don't know, and if you go over to edit, and uh, let me go ahead and fill that with black, just so I can go ahead and show you guys what that will look like. So it's black, and <clears throat> say I don't know what layer it is. You know, say you have a lot of layers and you're working with Photoshop, you go over to edit and you wanna go ahead and transform it. You go over to free transform, and that's pretty much uh, command T or control T on a PC and that will allow you to bring up the transform uh, tool I guess and <clears throat> so now what this will do is allow you to transform the image but you can see that's not what I wanted to transform I wanted to transform the beach icon here or the the layer so just keep keep that in mind make sure you have the right layer selected so I want beach select it and then transform it. I'm going to delete this layer. By the way, if you want to enable or disable, this is you're not deleting the layer, you're just going to um, enable or disable the vis the layer visibility. You can just uh, click on the eye right next to the icon and that will just kind of disable it for now until you check it again. So press delete, make sure your layer is selected, go over to edit and then go down to transform or free transform. You could also go to transform and then it gives you other like uh, other tools that you could use within the transform. Uh, so this wall, this gives you pretty much more options. Free transform allows you to transform everything. I'm not going to go into that. I think I already made a video on that. If you guys, if I haven't, please tell me in the comment below and I'll be glad to make a, a video on it. So now you can, you know, transform it to however you want. A lot of people, now this is a lot of mistake a lot of people do. And it's when they want to make the image bigger, all they do is they just click and drag, you know. And they want to make it, you know, say they have a smaller box or whatever the box is, and they want to make like fill it in, like or just so it fits right. What you're doing is you're you're changing the um, the orientation, not the orientation, but the way the image looks. I can't really explain it really, but you're just changing the uh, you're just changing the way the image looks, and it's not going to look good if you do that. So what I would recommend is holding down the shift key. If you hold down the shift key and you click and drag on any of the corners, you could also do the top. Uh, or actually, no, you can't. Can you? No. That's a bummer. Anyway, you hold shift on any of the corners and you click and drag down or up. It doesn't really matter. It will stay proportional. There you go. That's the word. <laughs> proportional. So you can click and hold shift. And what I'm doing, I'm holding shift first. And then I click and drag. And this will allow, whoa, this will allow me to... Uh, make the image either smaller or bigger and I don't know why it's doing that it's very annoying so say I want the image to be like that maybe I want it a little bit smaller <laughs> I swear it does not do that <sighs> Photoshop Photoshop why does it do this anyway so say I want it like that I click the check mark so when you click the check mark or you I don't know press command enter or control enter that will confirm that you want the image to be like that if you don't do that, if you go to another tool, it's going to say apply this the, the transformation. You have to click apply if you want it to stay that way. If you don't, it's not going to stay that way and you have to do it over again. Just keep that in mind, okay? So, 
click the check mark or press command enter or control enter to confirm that you want it like that. Now this does not crop the image if you press command T again and I zoom out using the command minus uh, or control minus or going over to uh, what is it view and then zoom out or zoom in like that and uh, you guys know how to do the transform command T control T going to edit you get the idea. Uh, so yeah so by the way the way I move around is I hold down the space key and I just click and drag so yeah so you can see it's not cropped because there's apparently a window or the margin of the picture so the next one is um, the hidden tools so when you want to you know, like say I want to use a brush tool and I want to I don't know paint or no the text tool okay I click on it and I want to use the vertical text uh, tool or the option to say I want to write something like vacation down to the left side of the image well you can select oh my gosh it's slow you can select text and uh, Photoshop okay there we go <laughs> so you click on it and you want to go ahead and type so say I don't know vacation but I spelled that wrong there we go and uh, yeah I spelled vacation but it's not vertical I want to use the, the tools there's more tools within the text tool um, more tools yeah that makes sense <laughs> so I'll click the check mark to confirm it or can or command enter um, and I'm pressing V to go to the move tool so that will allow me to move it um, so yeah it's this tool right here but anyway so I have vacation but that's not what I want so I go over to text I have to click and click and hold on on the icon there click and hold and you can let go if you want and then you could select vertical type tool and I'm gonna go ahead and select that I press command a or go over to edit and then uh, where is it it should be select all yep there you go select all and or you can just highlight everything within this right here and uh, you're gonna have to retype it um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that so you have to select the tool first if you don't it's gonna you're gonna use that that tool so you click and hold and then you want to use a different tool uh, then you click on that it's kind of like a subdirectory or a, like a subfolder so now I can type in vacation whoa vacation and I'm gonna click the check mark I'm gonna go over to the move tool and I'm gonna move I'm gonna move it down just like that see not that hard and uh, so yeah if you guys want to know which layer you're working with so now they say they both say vacation but I don't know which one well if you click and the I this will allow you to disable and enable the layer visibility that way you could see which one which layer it is so I'm gonna delete this one cool now the zoom tool is another uh, problem a lot of people face and they want to know how to zoom in in their image there's I think uh, let's see four ways of zooming in or five so the first one is using the shortcuts um, and the shortcuts are the probably the easiest way of zooming in you hold down command if you're on a Mac and plus or control plus if you're on a PC and that will allow you to zoom in if you want to zoom out and by the way hold space to drag around the image and click and drag um, if you don't it's gonna move the whole layer so keep that in mind <laughs> um, but if you want to zoom out you hold down command and minus or control minus on a PC and that will allow you to zoom out uh, if you want to say you're zoomed in and you want to see the whole image on your screen to fit the screen you hold down command zero or control zero on a PC and that will fill the image to your screen or fit it to your screen um, another way of zooming in is going over to the view menu on the top and you go down to zoom in and it gives you the shortcuts on the sides right here so zoom in zoom in again again this is very time consuming if you're gonna be zooming in so this is not very I don't know if you guys want to take the safe route you could do that but I don't like it I, I like using shortcuts because it speeds up my workflow um, now another way of doing it is by using the zoom tool if you guys don't know what the zoom tool it's pretty much it looks like this it looks like a uh, magnifying glass so you click on that and uh, there's only one option really and you can click and drag the first option is the plus and you're gonna see the plus on the magnifying tool or on the magnifying glass um, and you click 
and you click again no matter how many times you click it will zoom in and if you want to zoom out you hold down option on a Mac or alt on a PC and that will allow you to zoom out so you know using all the shortcuts you have the space to move around and if you don't hold alt or alt or option that will allow you to zoom in like that pretty cool hold on alt or option alt or option and that will allow you to zoom out pretty cool um, you could also because you're within the zoom tool you could say you're zoom, zoomed in you can see fit to screen and fill screen you got hundred percent you got scrubby zoom zoom all windows resize fit to uh, resize windows to fit and then you have the plus and minus um, uh, mat, uh, the tools so say you're zooming in and you want to use or you want to zoom out you can easily click over here and just drag out or click to zoom out um, if you want it to fit to screen you click on this and kaboom or if you want to fill the screen you click this right here and that will fill the whole entire screen which is eh, it's okay depends what you're working with really the next one is the shortcuts I pretty much told you the shortcuts really um, I made a video on that already I'm gonna go ahead and post an annotation right now on the screen click on that and that will take you to the video where I show you guys the most uh, common and useful uh, shortcuts in Photoshop that could speed up your workflow and another one is making a copy of your layer and this will one help you in case you mess up with the layer you're on so if I go and see beach right here that's the only layer I have and then I have the text layer which is this right here on the side if I select beach the layer and I click this uh, whoops no uh, so, so I select the layer and I press command J or control J if you're on a PC or you could easily click and drag it and click and uh, click and drag the layer to the bottom right here and that will make a copy another way you can do a copy is by going up here and it's gonna give you like a little an arrow and then it has lines uh, three lines four lines um, you click on that and it says duplicate layer you select that and that will make a copy of your layer and you can also change the name as you do it so say I want to name it uh, uh, couple beach I guess I don't know document you can keep it within the same document or you can make a copy of that layer the one you have the you the layer you want to make a copy of onto another document that's currently open so shutterstock that's the one I'm currently on and I click OK and that will make a copy of the image in the same document so I really don't want to confuse confuse you guys. I want to make this as simple and as easy as possible. So that's pretty much everything that I really have to go through uh, or to teach you guys. And it really is not hard when it comes down to Photoshop. If you guys really like when you want to make something really cool in Photoshop, you have to take the hard way. You know, like it's gonna be hard, um, but the result is gonna be amazing. It will. It really depends, like how skilled you are in Photoshop and how much you use Photoshop but you get better every other day or every day okay and so stuff will not magically appear uh, I can't I can't really explain it um, but in other words you really have to use Photoshop to know to know all the tools and stuff you're gonna have to play around with it first and then once you start playing around with it you go you know how to use the tools and stuff then you will start to know the tools and how to speed up your workflow and use uh, Photoshop to make images. So um, if this helped you in any way, then please leave a rating below. That really puts a big smile on my face when I see you guys leaving a like and commenting as well. That just shows, shows, you, <laughs> shows me that you guys really do love these tutorials and you take your time to comment as well. So uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace out.